Well, good morning, everyone. I am here without a script because I'm frankly pissed off at some airlines. That airline being Southwest because, well, let's just pop up their official, their official flying with firearms thing. And it says, let me just get it here. So it says, firearms must be encased in a hard locked container that is of sufficient strength to withstand normal handling. A firearm in a locked, hard, a hard locked container may be placed inside a soft, unlocked suitcase. A firearm placed inside a hard sided, locked suitcase must be encased in a hard sided, locked container. A locked container or suitcase must completely secure the firearm from access. At excess, cases or suitcases that can be pulled open with minimal effort do not meet the locked criteria. You should retain the key or combination to the lock and may use any brand or type of lock to secure the firearm case. So we look at that and go, okay, cool. That's that's nothing too crazy. We got a lot. We got a locked hard side container. Wait, a firearm placed in a hard sided locked suitcase must be in a hard side locked container. Okay. Well, my my suitcase. Well, that's I have a Pelican. That's not a suitcase. That's a that's a gun case. It just happens to have extra crap in it. Well, maybe maybe not. In Nashville, well, in Nashville, you better have, for your gun case, you better have that hard side locked container, that Pelican, inside another hard side locked container. So I gotta have a gun case for my gun case, at least in Nashville. So if I had another Pelican, I'd have to have another Pelican around. No, no, a hard shell. Well, case. This, this is. A yeah, case. a hard shell case enclosed inside. A so, hard if, shell case. so if I had a long gun. Or any gun inside a locked hard side case, that locked hard side case would have to have another locked hard side case around it. Yes. So. All right, so I just need a gun to do firearm to see what case it's in? Yeah, it's in this case. I need to see it in inside of another case. It cannot be in just this case by itself. It has to be in another locked case. Okay, why does it have to have the second locked case? According That's to according to our procedure. According to the contract of carriage, it says it needs to be in a locked case. That cannot be opened by normal means. But it cannot. If it's, it cannot be just. It cannot be in a, a lock. A pedicant case by itself. It has to be in another locked case inside so need, the pedicant so case. So I need a locked pelican case with a locked pelican case inside of it. Correct. And that is how you do every firearm you've ever seen. Yes, so sir. A rifle comes. And they've brushed away. Hell, that one lady on the power trip in Nashville, that I had to go and get another hard side locked in here to put in my pelican. Yeah, yeah, that's that's just unacceptable to me. I had to pay a hundred freaking dollars. And yes, this this whole video is just me bitching at Southwest because they have not responded in good faith to any of my any of my complaints. So let's put it out on the internet and watch them become a laughing stock for a little bit. Because Every other, every other uh, airline only uses the law. And the law, which is Title 49, Subtitle B, Chapter 12, Subchapter C, Part 1540, Subpart B, Carriage of Weapons, Explosives, and Incendiaries by Individuals. All right. Now we can go all this in checked baggage. A passenger may not transport or offer for transport checked baggage or baggage with an unaccessible cargo hold. Any unloaded firearm, any loaded firearm, any unloaded firearm, unless the passenger declares it orally in writing before checking the baggage that the passenger in the firearm in the bag is unloaded. The firearm is unloaded. The firearm is in a hard side locked container, hard side container. 
and the common in the container in which the car carrier is locked, only the passenger retains the key or combination. So, what does that say to me? You got a Pelican case that's got two big old locks on it that only I have the key for. That totally fits that. That's the only thing it is. So cool. Now, most of the time, this isn't an issue. Most places are fine with it. It's only these power tripping idiots that decide, oh, wait, this hard side locked container is not good enough. You must have another hard side locked container inside of it. So now, we have two locks on there, and the way this case is made, it cannot be opened through those two. Here, try to break it again. I don't know, I still can pry this part open. I should not be able to see it. So what, what was the what is the final ruling? Is that good to fly? You can't open it up, right? You can't gain access. No, I can't. Okay. Okay, so by your lock, recommendation. Lock that. You can lock this. This whole case shall be locked because that is all that's required by TSA regulations. You're gonna lock this case? Yes. Okay. Because I have to. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry you thought I did so. We did show you on Southwest.com that it, that is a part of your contract. Okay. That's what you guys imply. In fact, in fact, I think this was Nashville again. I had to get the TSA at one point to get them up there to say, yeah, no, that's totally fine to put it in, to put it in, in this fashion, you know, a hard side locked container, which I'm going to probably be interspersing some photos of random bullshit I can do. But I will be putting more photos in later on about what you can do under under rules under southwest rules so anyway dsa came up said no you can't take one lock off the main case and put it on the little case inside because now the whole thing's accessible and still south the set people at southwest was were trying to complain and say well they can't fly they can't fly so, I think most of my issues and complaint is at Nashville. But there was one lady at Midland that tried to throw this in my face, and I told her to, that that was stupid. And the TSA right next to her basically looked at her like she was an idiot. So, what I'm also trying to say is, Southwest, this policy is making you look like morons. Because it is. It's, it's moronic and doesn't make any goddamn sense. Why does my gun case need a, another gun case? And then, why is this why is this policy being so sporadic, so ethereal almost? Where it's a okay sometimes. How much stuff in a gun case turns it into a suitcase? There's no, there's no, no, any, there's no sort of definition for any of this. There is no definition for suitcase. There is no definition for gun case. There isn't any definitions. So you, it allows your power tripping people to go, this will not fly no matter what. So if I have a gun inside a Pelican, officially that cannot fly on Southwest. Doesn't matter if it's a Pelican, or doesn't matter if it's an SKB, doesn't matter if it's one of those nice bespoke aluminum things that weigh 50 pounds on its own. Unless you have that hard lock sided container inside another hard lock sided hard sided locked container, it's not gonna fly officially with Southwest. Now, granted, most of your people know what the hell they're looking at and go, this is fine. We're not going to worry about it. I've had multiple times where, where I've had the pers person's kind of new and they go, wait, wait, aren't we supposed to have this in a locked hard side container? I'm like, well, yeah, this whole thing is. 
they look over to their supervisor, the guy that's training, and the supervisor looks at it and goes, oh, yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. That's a hard side locked container. It's good. We don't have to worry about it. So now I'm to the part of the video where I'm going to go, here's what you can a fit can eh, well of course it's going to be uh by the standards of whoever you're look is looking at it but by definition could fly on southwest and it's going to have three or four different video different pictures i'm not going to narrate over it because i don't care enough this video is already going to be way too freaking long of just me bitching and ultimately, this video holds no value whatsoever to anybody because, well, this is just me bitching and making me feel better. So, mostly, probably, Nashville, you suck. All right, cool. Also, um, let's do YouTube bullshit. Like and subscribe. Actually, don't. I don't fucking care. I'm costing YouTube money. That is all I'm here for. Good night. Got a case? You have the case. Michael, your final sport line today, right? Hey, can we get a garbage bag over here? All right, cool. Right, where's the bag tag for this one? Where? There you go. I'm over here at cool. B10. I have a bag that's wide open. Hey, Brian, just take it back off. All right. Uh, cool. Let me... Well, actually, I can't put these locks on that thing anymore. Let me do the TSA locks on it then. All right. All right, you all set. Cool. Thank you very much. So next time you fly, that's how it should be packed, sir. Well, we'll see what happens when this hits the internet. Oh, wait, you never gave me back my uh, ID all right, and stuff. You're all set. Sweet. Thanks for the confusion, and thanks for your company policy advice.